Let's talk a bit about what is going on in the pandemic response and, and what it is going to look like as the Biden administration gets set to formally take power one week from today. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamalani joins us now uh, with some changes at the top of the Operation Warp Speed um, group. Monsef Slawi uh, set to step down uh, over the next month. That's correct, Miles. We knew that this was coming, but we didn't quite know what the extent of it would be in terms of whether or not Monsef Lowy would be uh, kept on as a consultant for several weeks after th the transition period. Uh, but we uh, heard yesterday uh, from him, actually, uh, that he is, in fact, submitting his resignation, which includes a 30-day uh, period notice period. So he will be on uh, past Inauguration Day just to help uh, turn over Operation Warp Speed uh, to the new administration. We also know that uh, Anthony Fauci, of course, has been asked to stay on uh, and, and continue uh, with the Biden administration. So we're losing some faces, but keeping some uh, and remains to see just how many others will also uh, be a part of that transition. We also heard yesterday from Operation Warp Speed about updates to vaccinations. We know we're past 9 million vaccinations right now, and more than 27 million doses have been distributed. Uh, we also uh, got some updates about uh, expansion of priority groups with the administration now saying that it's okay to move on to the next priority group. So all in all, looking to ramp up and escalate vaccinations as of now. And Anjali, uh, we still have some, some types of vaccines that are still outstanding, haven't been approved yet. One of those is Johnson & Johnson. But there's some news this morning that the company might not have as many doses as some of the other companies. I mean, all of the companies had been ramping up production even before they got approval. What's going on in the case of J&J? That's correct. Well, j, &J uh, of course, has a lot of hopes pinned on it because it's a single dose vaccine. So just once you get that vaccine out, you're fully inoculated. And that's been where sort of the hope resides. Uh, we did get word yesterday from Operation Warp Speed that they are likely to get results by end of this month. And so an EUA, an emergency use authorization, is likely mid-February, early to mid-February. And then after that, uh, start rolling out doses. But they are not going to have as many doses as originally thought. Operation Warp Speed's Monsef Slaoui uh, explained that. Listen to what he had to say. We project to have single-digit million number of doses available in the second half of February. We're trying to make that number get as close to a double-digit number as possible, and then uh, a larger number in March and a much larger number in uh, April. So as you can hear, rather than uh, looking at specific numbers, uh, kind of like what we had with uh, Pfizer and Moderna's, uh, knowing and being more involved with the process and being the early front runners, uh, of course, the administration had much clearer insight into what they already had. But it seems like uh, J&J is looking to ramp up still uh, their vaccine. So we're not sure. We know that uh, you know of the commitment that they've made, uh, they might still be able to catch up for the year end. Uh, but uh, it seems like at least in the early part of the rollout, they might not have as many as needed. Julie? All right. Yeah, Finance is Anjali Kamlani with the latest on everything going on in the COVID response. Anjali, thanks so much.